Yeah, let me check it real quick. Let's say it's 22. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 22. Yeah, go ahead and read it. Alright. Exodus 22 and 1. If a man shall steal an ox or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep. If a thief be found breaking up and be sm smitten that he died, there shall no blood be shed for him. Hey, you know, I wasn't thinking about it when I brought this out. This wasn't my plan. But this reminds me of that faggot uh, Clive and Bunny. You see that big homosexual they got on the news? They, they about to start a revolution with Clive and Bunny. I hope they kill his racist enemies. Yeah, but they're out there stealing his cows because the government don't give a fuck. They come and steal your shit. They'll take your property. They'll take everything you own. Just when you get paid, they take out half your paycheck before you even get it. They just rob you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Blind. Yeah. <laughs> Exodus 22 and 3. If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him. For he should make full restitution if he have nothing. Then he shall be sold for his death. Oh, you get sold into slavery if you don't pay your debts. What are you calling? Indenture service. Yeah, it's an indenture service when you serve like seven years. Keep going. If the theft be certain. Yeah, I mean, can ask you, because that's evil, stealing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have some kind of punishment for that. Motherfucker can't be robbing people. Keep going. If the theft be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or ass or sheep, he shall restore double. I started to bring the scripture all over to it. Oh, yeah? I would say we never read it, I don't think, out here. But there's some real good parts deep down in the chapter. Yeah, that's all I like. This chapter and the next chapter. Yeah. Keep going. If a man shall cause a field or a vineyard to be eaten and shall put in his in his beast and shall feed in another man's field of the best of his own field and of the best of his own vineyard shall he make restitution. If fire break out and catch in thorns so that the stacks of corn or the standing corn or the field be consumed therewith, he that kindled the fire shall surely make restitution. Uh -huh. Where are you at? 22 and 7 now. Actually, cuts too with them. The motherfuckers be saying that uh, all sins the same. <laughs> it actually shows that he's still. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I've heard a lot of people saying shit. He's all in. Hey, hey, he's saying skip. all sins the same. Man, too, it might take a long time to read that. Let's just skip down and. uh. Yeah, all right, we can read on. I'll oh, go ahead, just keep reading. I wanted to read some of this chapter and the next chapter. I wanted to read this chapter. Yeah, just keep reading. Yeah, just keep reading. All right. Let's go right through it. Exodus 22 and 7. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep, and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. Man, so you rob somebody, you're supposed to pay double what you took from them. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's, you know what? That's scriptural too. That's revelation now. Pay hey, Esau back double on what he's done to us. Yeah, that that's goes it. all back to the yeah, law. That's right, that's right, that's right. And that cuts the fuckers. Just exposing Esau. Uh, that cuts the fuckers up too. They, they you know, rob a goddamn uh, corner store, for example. They lock you up a goddamn point in life. Oh, yeah, they give you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they'll lock you up. They'll throw all you in prison. Petty shit. The scriptures don't say you're supposed to lock people up in prison <laughs> for uh, so many years, you know what I mean? If somebody committed an offense so bad, you had to lock him up for 20 years, you might as well kill him. Yeah, hey, uh, lock your ass up, then have you paying restitution. No, nah, it's not even that, though. There's no lock, because all, all, a lot of the prisons are owned by private corporations. Uh, uh, everybody in prison is giving them free slave labor. You got prisons competing with uh, corporations, making goods, you know Stock what I'm saying? Stock market, brother. Stock market. You can only make... Certain certain prisons only making like five cents. 
An hour? You make like two dollars a month or something? I don't know. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You don't make much more. Yeah, that's my last rent. Two dollars a month. Right. <laughs> they got actual Edomites uh, bidding on locking more niggas up, man. They, they, that's, you know, they making money on locking more niggas up. That's crazy, man. And here when they say it actually statistic wise, especially in the hood, they say crime is down. But why are they doing more prisons? Oh yeah, there's more prisons in America than the whole world combined. Combined, man. And America tries to talk shit about North Korea. I, I guarantee you, America has more prisoners than North Korea. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. And all they're doing is exposing this devil's hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. He's probably going to work for the judicial system next year. Yep. If he can get a job. Because they said uh, uh, with graduates, they say the job the job outlook is, is slim. slim. It's yeah. slim, man. This was just the other day in the news. They said it's poor, man, like, hopeless. A lot of places are starting to look like Detroit. I talked to my mother back home so, in Pittsburgh. That's why I can see how. Oh, my God. America's doing bad, man. America's doing bad. Yeah, they bunch of faggots. Like, they're shit. Yeah, they're doing doing bad. Bad. Oh, you know Pittsburgh's going back, because that was an industrial town. Yeah, it is. It's poor. Yeah, like, it's poor. Yeah, 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 it's These devils can do something the fuck they want, they just want to get better. <laughs> but I bet you, this one get better. Wow. Wow. Exodus 22 and 8. If the thief be not found, then the master of the house shall be brought unto the judges to see whether he hath put his hand onto his neighbor's goods. For all manner of trespass, whether it be for ox, for ass, for sheep, for remnant or for any manner of lost thing which another challenges to be his the cause of both parties shall come before the judges and whom the judges shall condemn he shall pay double onto his neighbor yeah, you're gonna pay double <laughs> yeah so yeah you get it you get it you know so that's like a, having a fair trial you know what I'm saying? you ain't gonna have no fair trial in america in america these motherfuckers make you take a plea bargain Ain't, you know, like not like ninety percent of the people to go to the courts probably get a plea bar bargain. A plea bargain. Uh, keep going. It's definitely the judges that they you see in court. You know, they see in court every day. Yeah, they're a bunch of homosexuals. <laughs> they don't even judge you by the Bible. You got dumb motherfuckers who actually read this and actually think it's talking about the system. This system. No, they try to say it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they're not. They're not. Well, they always. They're not quoting the Bible in a courtroom. Go ahead. I got that double scripture for you. Oh, you yeah, read it. Okay, um, this Revelation 18 and 6. Um, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. Right, so Esau, he's going, he's going, he has to pay double. Like all these faggot ass politicians out here robbing people, they taking all your money, they don't want to pay double. Yeah, the, yeah, but the other location. I remember that weirdo. It's that Jew motherfucker. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. He's like a fucking. You know what I'm saying, man? Like, fucking weird. got no type line counting this. I should have cursed his ass out of his Talking all nice and shit. He was getting cut the fuck out. I'm standing here for three hours, three, yeah. four hours. I watched it clip. When he first came, it was broad daylight. <laughs> Each clip just got to get darker, darker, and darker, and darker. Yeah, no, getting cut. How much she could have glorified herself and lived deliciously? Yeah, because so yeah, America lives deliciously compared to all the other countries in the world if you go to any other country people ain't got no food man like you go down to mexico people they broke as hell down there you go down to all them latin countries they, they broke as a motherfucker you know what i'm saying or they got them laying down because you did america has more fat people than the rest of the world combined you know that <laughs> look at all these fat bitches everywhere 
Ohio probably got but, the most. Yeah. But that lived deliciously really ain't talking about, that's really talking about Esau. Mm -hmm. That's talking about the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, mm -hmm. the Illuminati. All, all them faggots, all them faggots is controlling shit, yeah. The bankers, the, all the bankers, people that control the government, the Federal Reserve, all that shit. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sent a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Y'all saw America's gonna be, be destroyed in one day. Mm. And well, like, cause when the missiles start launching, it's really gonna take about an hour. It is it's, one swoop. Cause once the missiles start flying, that's it. It ain't gonna be, there's gonna be no more America. Cause you got Russia, do you, excuse me, do you know Russia just flew bombers over the UK? You didn't know that. Yeah, everybody wearing headphones, that's good. Cause y'all ain't got ears anyway. You faggots. You see all these people wearing headphones? Yeah, everybody, yeah, that's like that. Yeah, everybody, everybody that got that's damn the deep sleep. The most high don't want them in here. That's a deep sleep. They got headphones on everybody. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord power Yahweh who judges her. That's it. Yeah, so America's gonna be destroyed, man. Before that destruction, hey, this shit could go down any day, man. Any day now. And I was listening on the news today, you got, you got people saying that this war with Russia could, could cause an economic collapse. You know, that's funny, I was in that today, how the last couple of days, what's going on economically in America. It ain't looking good for America. Well, it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good. <laughs> Yeah, because war is putting more and more in debt. They got to borrow that money to go to war. They got to pay, you know, that Where are they getting that money from? Right. I was just thinking if America was so goddamn ambulances, man. Just let these people die. That's a good sign, hey. Oh, uh, you see, you gotta stay far, far away from that site. Yeah, because they ain't got no truth on that site. That dude's an agent. You know, he's a cop. But, but he talking about, I don't know what he's talking about. Why is he that, a cop? That dude, ain't, is it ain't that Nathaniel hey, shit? Nathaniel, He's a cop, ain't he? He's a cop. He's, he's a detective. He's a fucking cop. He's a detective. You can't be a detective and teach, teach truth. That it's not the, possible. That's the enemy. Cause look, hey, get, Re uh, get Revelation 2 and 10. You familiar with a 501c3? He's under what you call the 501c3 tax exempt. That he can't teach the truth. Cause what you gotta you teach what the government oh, yeah. says to teach. You know, one thing that's, that he teaching that's good is that, you know, he teaches that you're an Israelite. Which you are an that's Israelite. Good. You're not a nigga. You're not an African American. You're an Israelite right here on this list. And that's, the, we're the people of the Bible. But that nigga, he's a uh, he's a sellout. He teach you that you can do, you can eat pork. Remember, he, he gave this congregation a command at one time that you, it's all right, you can go out and eat pork. When the Bible says you can't even touch a fucking dick. Yeah, they got they got witnesses. Huh? Remember what Jesus said? You believe in Jesus, right? Nah, uh, we, we believe in your house shot. Yeah, it's your house shot. Nah, it's your house shot. Jesus, who the world ignorantly, who the world See, ignorantly calls Jesus. And that's the name that Nathaniel does not teach. He teaches Christ. He teaches Christ. He, he, won't, he won't say Yahusha because he's ashamed of that name. And actually, he's not allowed to say it. Right. He got orders. Uh, Mark uh, 7, 14 or something. It says, like, whatever is outside of man cannot define him. That when 
and it goes inside of him. Yeah. And he says make, that makes all food great. Well, he's talking about washing his hands right there because he didn't wash his hands. <laughs> we can read it. It's talking about washing your hands. It ain't talking about eating pork, dude. Yeah, but it's, if you could, like the last part, it says that makes that, that that's Jesus declaring that. That all food is prayer. Nah, he no, wasn't no, even talking that, about that. That food. would make the Lord alive. No, no, because of what it was. Hey, let's get it. Get uh, Mark seven and read it from the top. I'll break it down for you, bro. Because this is the old, that old Baptist teaching right here. That old oh, boy, you yeah, didn't eat that pork boy. That don't make no sense. That's, because the Most High do not contradict itself. Yeah, that's that's that old church no doctor, bro. There's no but, there's no if. Because the swine is. Hey, and, and why you got that? Hold up, bro. Give me a Maccabee. You know, Maccabees with a daughter? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The mother, not the daughter, the mother and the, and the son. Yeah, that's when they got right. slaughtered. You know where that's at? Yeah, that's like a Maccabee. Yeah, I got it. You get that mark, you get that Maccabee. They said new and old coming in. Yeah. So, like, Jesus said, this but, is the new covenant. Yeah, but the new covenant is not the covenant of swine's blood. Swine, the swine represents filth and disease. The new you know covenant what I'm saying? is not, like, what you're trying to say is, the new covenant is it's okay to break the laws. No, no. <laughs> That's what you're saying, though. I'm saying like, cause look, cause says, you don't realize what you're saying. Let <laughs> be honest with you. Well, let's just listen you know to the scripture. Let's we'll see what the scripture say, bro. I got that. You remember with Paul when he was uh, he had a vision and then he said that. Uh, nah, that was Peter. Yeah, Peter. Uh, he said, uh, "Don't call for God made." Right. You know why? Because you know because uh, then the Lord t also told him that the vision he had of those days, it wasn't about animals. That dream was about people. And in, in his dream, the, the animals represented the, the Gentiles and the Israelites who were scattered among the Gentiles. Okay? Because at one time, Israel was scattered among the heathen and they didn't know who they was. They didn't know they was Israel. But when we came out and we taught the gospel to them, they woke back up to the truth that they was an Israelite. So before when they didn't know they was an Israelite, they didn't know the truth, they were they were unclean, okay? But once you hit them with the truth, you become clean, okay? The truth cleanses you, okay? That's, that's what a baptism is, that you get baptized in that water. That water is the truth, okay? It's the rivers of living water, that's the truth. And they dunk with somebody in some dirty air clean. Nah. It's, you know, symbolic language, poetic language. Yeah. That's what the water is, the spirit, the Holy Spirit. That's, that's the logo. That's, 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 that's the word. So right now, we, uh, we're we washing you right now. Because you've been taught, uh, you, you've been taught by number the lies. And you and you took it in. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, because, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a whole different thing, though. Because, like, he even said it, bro. Like, he never said in the Bible that I'm talking about one thing at a time, we're going to read this, Mark, because uh, you brought up a lot of topics. So let's just do one thing at a time, because, you, you know, it'll be better order. Read that. All right, this is Mark 7 and 1. Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with the fowl, that is to say, with unwashing hands. I mean, they didn't wash their hands. Now, now, what law in the Old Testament said that you had to wash your hands before you ate something? Well, that was tradition. Huh? That's uh, tradition. That was no law. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Did that, 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 keep going? They found fault for the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they washed their hands off, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. All right, so that's the tradition of the elders, okay? Keep going. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be, which they have received to hold as the washing of cups and pots, brass and vessels, and of tables. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, why walk not thy disciples according to the traditions of the elders? To the tradition of the elders. Okay, he didn't say traditions in the most high. Keep going. But eat bread with unwashing hands. All right. He answered and said unto them, Well hath, well hath is, is uh, I one of the prophets. Yeah, yeah. Is, is. Oh, that's uh, Isaiah. Prophesize of you hypocrites 
as it is written, this people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. All right. They honor, they claim like they're righteous, but their heart's far from them. They found their own doctrine. Okay, keep going. How being in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. The commandments of men. Mm. Watch, they making, they making commandments up. That's, that's what a lot of these people in these churches do. They're trying to control you. They make it up new laws. It's all about getting your money and taking advantage of it. Like Nathaniel 7 and the church he was talking about. Keep going. So he, he, he's a wizard. He knows how to control your mind, okay? He's good at that. That's, a, that's an art today. Don't you know there's an art to tricking people and being a, uh, and being, what's the word I'm looking for? You say the right, being a deceiver. That's like, that's like a, he's like a magician. It really is, that's what he is. He uh, casts a spell on your ass. You going? You know, with fancy garments. Yeah, the fancy garments. You know, look at me. They can't see that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, well, they look like the foot. But that's not scripture. Hold up. Though. Bro, they look like the foot playing off of Ninja they, Turtles. None of, none of them come on, that's, they, uh, come on, keep it real, bro. They, they look like the foot clan, bro. I don't really like church anymore. They supposed to have borderline blue in their garments. Look dressing well, up like yeah, sub. They, they look like uh, things. looking like Sub Zero. Paying two fifty for the garments, three fifty. You know, they gotta pay big money for them garments they wear. Yeah. You supposed to be out here looking like you um, in I, bad shape. Hey, hold up. You ain't supposed to be looking like you uh. Oh, like the I, I got a, I got you know, a script. You're not supposed to be look, out here looking like you well. Mormons are homosexual. And, and, uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to be looking like you uh, like you got it going on. You know, we're supposed to be in mourning right now. The black man's supposed to be in mourning. We're not, we're not lip right. We're not living like these goddamn idiots in the hood talking about get money, get money. That's a fool. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. But here you go. Let me read this for you. This is uh, Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Precepts of men, just like in, where, what scripture was that? Mark yeah, this, uh, this is Isaiah 29. Oh, no, yeah, that's what he quoted right here. Yeah, that's right. In Mark that's 7, right. that's what he quoted. That's the spirit right there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's exactly because he said, as Isaiah the prophet said. That's right. I got a scripture to back him up on the garment. It's what the Bible says about what the prophets were. Okay, uh, now if you, you gotta read the whole book, uh, chapter of Hebrews 11. It's all talking about faith, all right? And that's the you off, it, that's in Hebrews. It actually yeah. tells you about that new covenant. Oh, oh yeah, it does. Yeah, in uh, Hebrews, look, that's what it's about. Breaking all, it down. Yeah, and that all, all Israel will be priests, not just Levi. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is that's the new covenant. That's the future prophecy. That's Yeah, but listen to this scripture, bro. This is a cut that Nate and all these other clowns are one of dressed up in elaborate costumes. Okay. First of all, if you're really a man in the Lord, you probably ain't gonna have enough money to buy no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? His brothers can't afford that shit. They're the old five hundred dollar costume. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got to put it on layaway for six months. You know what I'm saying? What'd you say? I said they're rich off the butt cheeks. Well, look. Well, watch this. Hebrews 11 and 36. This is talking about the prophets. It says, And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. Just talking about the prophets. Like, they locked Jeremiah up. If you read the book of Jeremiah, they locked him up. You know what I'm saying? The king of Israel did. It said they were stoned. It said they were stoned. They were sung asunder were tempted, were slain with the sword. This is the point right here. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute. Get the word destitute, meaning of, they look bad. Afflicted. Right? Yeah. Right? Yep. Now, how does them niggas on, on YouTube, uh, IUC, whatever you call them, look at fly as hell. they look like they got it going on. You know? Yeah, right, right. You're not supposed to look like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're they're boasting what they're doing. They're putting out uh, an image uh, to make it so they can attract people, not for truth, just for that image. You know, for that money. You know, yeah, yeah, that money. That's a really that's the reason why a lot of people do join because they look Jordan. good. Yeah, join. Because yeah. they look good. You know, yeah. the Lord that's gave up his is. riches and became poor. The Lord, he was actually rich because he was a a carpenter. Carpenter, that's a big money. Uh, Especially back in the ancient world. In, in all ancient world and this world, that's big money. And the Lord was saying he was really rich, man. He had gold. He 
before he was born. This is government gold. Yeah, his hey, hoodie was born. You know what I'm saying? Drop yeah. off gold. Yeah, he got gold on the first day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's a good point. And he gave up his riches and he became poor, man. That man, he was going around. The riches ain't shit. He didn't shit. have nowhere to lay his hand. Oh, in the scripture said, it said the son of man, no. It said the birds have their nest, nest and the foxes have their holes. But the son of man got nowhere to lay his head. You know what I mean? That's the scriptures. I know you're talking about Israel and everything, but like, I want y'all to preach about like salvation. It's like the cross. We ain't talking about salvation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the cross. We like out here bearing our cross, the suffering. Or suffering. He's talking about salvation the whole sons, time. These sons out here, you know what I'm saying? You talking about the cross and it offends them. You see what I'm saying? The cross. Yeah, the cross. Like, it offends who? It offends everybody. Good. You know, it tells Good. them that they are a sinner. You see what I'm saying? And you gotta confront them with the cross. That's the only way with you can get cross. What you mean? With the cross. What is what is the cross? What the cross when Jesus died for his sins and stuff like that? That's about crucified. You know yeah, we know what the cross is. That's man. the only way. So you coming out. out? So we gonna be like uh, we gonna be like a vampire hunter. With the cross, like Van Helsing, not the actual cross. No, you know like, what Dracula's scared of? Because, are, are you, you know, he's allergic to bullshit. Talking about what that sports job is talking about. Like, friend, oh, uh, you watch Blade? Yeah, like, 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 well, we got scripture about that because <laughs> and it never was about peace. It never is about peace. That's the Islam stuff right there. It was about peace. Because, right yeah, well, well, actually, yeah, I guess you can say that. Yeah. <laughs> the good. Lord said he came to bring uh, well, not peace, but a sword. sword. Yeah, but I mean, that's like. He said, he, not, yeah, he's, let me get the scripture. He, man, the scripture say we're we going to. Uh, what does it say? That we're going to. Hold on, hold, hold on. Now. It said the Lord, he's going to uh, tread the wine press Ooh, when he returns. And it, it said when what, he comes back, boy. he said America's going to be destroyed, and when it's destroyed, he's going to. Two thirds of Israel is going to be destroyed. There's going to be a lot of killing. The Lord's going to kill all kind of people. So we're not coming out here with a message of love. Well, we got we got peace led though. You know, That's Jesus, salvation when the Lord gives here. We got love for the elect. Yeah, saw the, we got saw love for the elect, bro. Yeah, saw the, Jesus preached about love. I mean, I mean, I understand that. But we're talking about like us, like you. us for now, ourselves can't now, be, you know, fighting you know, or love if you was following His commandments. Yeah. That's the elect. But you that's just a, don't love anybody. You just it's a love very you don't love the wicked. Thy neighbor, as yourself. Thy neighbor but who's your neighbor? Not everybody's your neighbor. Two thirds of Israel's not our neighbor. You know who neighbors is? Everybody. No, it ain't so, everybody. They uh, 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 even say he loves Gentiles, Jews, Israel. Okay, who were those Gentiles? Gentiles, Greek. He's going on that Jews. He just explained it to you that we're scattered amongst all nations. These were the Gentiles that were living amongst the other nations, living like those other nations. That's what he was explaining to you. The Lord's dealing with... So you're with, not even listening to what he's explaining to you. The, 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 the Lord's only dealing with Israel, okay? Only an Israelite believes in the truth. Don't, man, there's more Israelites on the earth than any other people, bro. And we scattered amongst all nations. That's why the Lord said... Teach the gospel to all nations. America, what's that scripture? Uh, oh, I got where, one. Where he was flipping up tables. They was acting John fucking, 2. They was acting wicked as hell. And he made his own whip. Yeah, he made a whip. Yeah. And whip. he went in there and whooped their ass. Yeah, what? Flipping up tables. Where, where was the like, love thy neighbor on that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you still, I mean, you can. Are you still whooping? You can still whoop him. That's your son. That wasn't his son. That was your son. That's your son. That was people he didn't even know. He went in there and whooped their ass. Isaiah 48 and 22. There it is. There is no peace, said the Lord. No peace to the wicked. Oh, uh, and then the scriptures also say, what's that? The apocalypse. It said, no good thing can come to a wicked man. Ooh. Look here, see? So, so, see, I have some Christian. Listen, but what about what about um, if you uh, somebody slash your left cheek, turn it off for the right cheek? Yeah, <laughs> that's talking about your brother. That's talking about your brother. You don't know the scriptures, son. Well, I'm gonna show you something. Yeah, what about what about uh, what about love uh, love your enemies? Pray for those who persecute you, something like that. Your people. That's, he's, he's from that's Israel. Israel. Twelve tribes of Israel. Your nation is a nation. Twelve tribes. Now let me show you something. I got songs for him real quick. Go ahead. We all can God cannot just love Israelites. He said, it says, There's Lord scriptures God. on it. Here you go. Listen, listen. All right. Listen. Give us a scripture. Listen. Right. This is Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. No, everybody. Not Listen. Every 
He hath not dealt so with any nation. Read that scripture again. He hath not, not dealt so with not. any nation. We, we gotta look up the word not I'm in the not dictionary. Hey. hey. You, you, you don't wanna pay attention, do you? Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what, what does not mean? You can prove wrong and you wanna you wanna put your you wanna put your attention somewhere else. That's why two thirds of our people gonna burn in that fire when it comes. You heard that's that why we no concentration right? camps going. That's you, why two thirds of our people gonna be up in no concentration camps. All your own opinion. No, this is, the, this is my preacher though. No, oh, it's right. your preacher. Tell him to come on over here. I'm not trying. I, mean, I was meeting him. Hey, yeah. He gonna make you leave. Here you go. He has not dealt so with <laughs> any nation. <laughs> and good. as for his judgments, they have not known them. This is crazy to lose. So the Gentiles don't know. Now this is now this don't is know. what you're saying. What about, keep reading. what about for God so loves the world? The world. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, you got me sorry. For God oh, so loves the world. Say, we just made a video on that. God so it doesn't say say for God so loved the world. Oh, one scripture at a time. One scripture at a time, bro. This your preacher right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying, they're trying to do it. No, they're just preaching about Israelites. Cut, cut the church up. They ain't trying to do nothing. We they cut the church up. Come out the church, you know, feeding people and getting there. Let me read it again. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Yeah, but that's at that time, though. That's at that people, time. Uh, at that time. Right give me a scripture. Right at that time. Hold on. Hold on. Give, give, uh, give us a scripture. Hold on. Hold on. At that time. Girl skin girls like that. She probably Christian right there though. Which scripture yeah, is it? Fire. Right, I said for God so loved the world. So what? Okay. Explain what for God so loved the world. Okay. Explain for God so loved the world. All right. We'll get that scripture. What's going on? I'm saying like. Hold on. Hold on. Explain for God so loved the world. Okay. 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 Explain for I change not. <laughs> I am the, I am the Lord. I change not. I give a New Testament scripture. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Go so the sons of Jacob are not consumed. Go Jeremiah 31. Well, hold on. No, look. I got a scripture for you, bro. Come on. Now, now you got to pay attention. Now, explain this to me. I want you to break this down. First Corinthians, and this is written by Paul. Who do Paul teach to? Gentiles. All right, there you go. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. So that's why we're out here, because we don't want y'all to be ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. <laughs> that ye were Gentiles. Let me read that again. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even <laughs> as ye were led. And that's what the church is full of. The church is full of idols. Right. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So they have pictures of Jesus, so, white Jesus. Now you were saying about John, right. John 16, right? He's black. That's what I thought. That's right, bro. Okay. But hold up, no. But hold up. But what does it mean, though? What does it mean when you just say no. that? What does ye word Gentiles mean? He's not from that. Right. He fled to Egypt. You know, people that, that had no but he was, he's not an African. Or, right. wait. You know? Yeah, because you got right. adopted. Right. You know what I'm saying? Africans are Jesus said he got adopted like a father. Africans and these people are totally different I'm not going to leave you. But you said Gentiles could be saved. Yeah. Not the same people at all. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll talk at a time. Because, because so, yeah, it even says somewhere in the Bible that Jesus came from the Gentiles and whatever. Well, who are the Gentiles? Oh, I'm trying to get to the like point. Like, real quick. No offense, but like, all these people out here, like, like pale skin people. Hey, right, man, right. you do the Romney 30. Right. But they're the natural right. Gentiles. You do the Romney 30. But there's an unnatural Gentile. These people that are, that is, remember, he, at, at, at first, he was explaining to you how Israel got scattered amongst the other nations. Do the 30. Right. And being scattered amongst right. the other nations, right. you're around them long enough, you start picking up their oh, ways. Following their gods, eating their foods, yeah, dressing the way they dress. You know what I'm saying? You become a Gentile. Okay? Like right now, you're a Gentile because you're the only, this is not your natural land anyway. Because if you don't know the truth, you're unclean. Okay? And, and the Lord said that we're made clean through the word and through uh, his blood, right? Yeah. So so how can you be a Gentile if we clean in the Lord? That doesn't make no sense. What's your nationality? <laughs> now you say you don't know. You say the way. You know you. You like like you 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 have a doubt in your mind. You have a doubt nah, in your like, mind. It's confusing because like it's like, not confusing. It's what, simple. What about, what about some Pelican, uh Jews up there? Talking about they're they, not Jews. They, they like they have DNA proof that they're like. No, you know they don't have DNA. No, hold on. Let me ask you a question. They don't have DNA. Nothing. So they know who they really are. Let me ask you a question. So for them to be able to prove that they're actually. 
Israelites. <laughs> they, that means they got uh, Jacob's DNA, a sa Ooh. sample of Jacob's DNA somewhere. Do you know anybody who got? Yeah, I've never seen that in the news enough when they said they found Jacob's DNA. Did you ever see that? We have seen a lot of stuff on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's just a, that's just a, uh, an illusion they put on put on you. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. a spell. You too? Huh? You said on YouTube they put up a movie? No, I'm, I'm talking about this, this whole world. This whole world. They're, they're on the textbooks. Well, this dude, the college this, university. This video I was watching, his name is Johnny. Uh -huh. He be exposed, you know what I'm saying, in the street. You know what I'm saying, comparing uh, a drastic event to the Bible and all that. It makes it clear to me. But there's a lot of crazy shit on YouTube, man. A lot of, cons I mean, we yeah, but we into all the conspiracy theories. We yeah, know yeah. all about all Satan that shit, is the bro. author of confusion, period, point blank. Yeah. It's you know what I'm but if you gotta internet, get grounded listen, in the truth. Listen, the internet is mainly for, you know, say Satan bullshit, you see what I'm saying? Actually, the internet was created for that's for, I know, that's I know, for us. Listen, listen. It was it was created, you know what I'm saying, for you know porno. That's what it was, you know, man, you know, for porno. <laughs> yeah, for dumb shit. Oh, for dumb shit. Yeah. But God, anything that a Satan do, God can just turn around and make it his. Yeah, too. but that's what he's doing you right now. So there's good shit on there too. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. You gotta have a smart suit. Well, you got, you got filters. Right. 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 Like there's good, good stuff on TV and there's bad stuff. On you got on the internet. You, you know how to filter it out. Damn right. right. You right. got the, the whole history. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah. almost the whole history of the world and almost all the knowledge of mankind ever on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So it's my grandma. It was a. Um, I can't remember if it was a Rothschild or if it was a. Yeah, Rockefeller. It was a Rockefeller. It was the descent uh, from uh, West Virginia. Yeah. Uh, he said. Um, he said. Um, they should have never invented the internet. Yeah, they said it was the worst thing they ever because did. Because the truth has gotten, gotten out and they, can't, uh, and they can't reverse it. Right. Because once Sorry. these people find out that they're, they're the people of the Bible, man, that's power. That's, that's over. That's, that's, that's it. Right. Curtis right. 3, 6, right. John 3, 16. That's right. So, um, right, but you say something about John 3, 16, yeah. too. Now, everybody knows that's, that's the world's famous scripture. Yeah. God so loved the world that if he got his only son. So he's saying like they don't like God don't want that. God but what is, we want to find right out there. what that world is. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. World yeah. without end. So he created different worlds. Yeah, actually, we made a video on this a couple weeks ago. We can watch it on YouTube. We go in depth on John 3.16. Now, when you read the word, uh, the scripture, John 3.16 said, for God so loved the world. But when you read the the Greek scriptures and the, the Textus Receptus, is what's what the King James Bible is based on. When you read that, the word world ain't there, that's English. You know what I'm saying? When you read that scripture, the word for uh, world there is cosmos. Now, back in the ancient Greek world, they had something known as uh, uh, chaos and cosmos. Okay, chaos was madness and confusion. This, this was like the balance, kind of like the yin and yang. You know what I mean? You, you, the left and the right. This is something like a philosophical train of thought. They had the chaos and they had the cosmos. The chaos was confusion and madness and, chaos, uh, and uh, cosmos meant order. Okay, that meant order, like the order of the Lord. That's what it meant. So that's what that that's a what that word world means there in world, because uh, uh, in John three sixteen, and the only nation that ever had order and laws was Israel. Okay, because the law was given to Israel. He read it in the song. So here you go. Hold on, let me let me finish this real quick. And uh, this is how you know he wasn't talking about the world, like far as every every cat dog human girl because why would he say this this is